What's going on guys and welcome back. I'm in the shop, it is Friday night and uh, what better to do on a Friday night than work on your brand new uh, 24 Players Boost Assault. So yes, yeah, so we have a ton of things planned for this sled uh, that we're going to get to, but right now the one thing that we have that is ready to rumble is our full custom wrap from 139 Designs. Uh, 139 Designs has been in my corner since literally day one. Uh, Chris, the owner, is a good friend of mine and uh, we've gone way back. We drove out to Minnesota together. We were teammates on the snow cross uh, team many, many, many moons ago. And Chris still to this day is a huge supporter of me and what I'm doing, uh, supports Bruce, the entire deal. So if you guys want to wrap, for starters, let's start there. Uh, he really specializes in custom wraps. I mean, he does a ton of snow cross sleds, etc. cetera. My, all my stuff, all Bruce's stuff, like I said. And uh, to help you guys out, uh, Jesse James 20, if you go and you uh, get an order in, Jesse James 20 at checkout, promo code, will save you a couple dollars. So if you want to go and do that. But anyway, uh, so yes, we're in the shop tonight. It is Friday night. Uh, I will not finish wrapping it tonight, but we're at least going to start it. I have a wedding tomorrow night, hence the uh, suits. If you see them in the background, I'm officiating another one of my really good friend's weddings. Uh, so we're going to be tied up tomorrow and tomorrow night, but I wanted to get this going tonight. I'm kind of chomping at the bit to, to start working on this, but the only thing that we really have that's ready to rumble right now is the wrap. So I'm going to change the shop around. I borrowed a, another uh, sled lift from my buddy Chris. So we're going to get it set up here. We're going to make a little table and uh, show you guys what we're wrapping this thing with. We got skis off up on the lift. I already took off all the uh, stickers that I needed to remove on this side. We're going to tackle this side uh, this evening. I don't know how far we're going to get but pretty much blank slate. So if we turn over this way, we're gonna see what we're wrapping this thing with. And boom, there was a lot of guesses. Don't mind the Jack Daniels, that's just holding the, uh, the wrapper down. Had a lot of guesses of what we were gonna be wrapping this sled in this year. Uh, had a lot of retro themed uh, vibes come through. And yes, last year I did do a storm copy, but that's not kind of what we're tackling this year. I just wanted to do something different. I'm gonna put up the whole uh, rendering that that 139 design sent me so you guys could get a better idea before I start getting into this. But pretty much it's kind of like a, a white camo uh, American theme type deal that we're going with. Uh, showing support to all of our sponsors. Again, without you guys, nothing <laughs> would be possible. So uh, <clears throat> no themed this year. No, again, no retro theme type deal. Uh, just some white camo. Uh, pretty much everything is going to be white. Uh, we have white stud backers from Woody's. Uh, if you come over here, uh, my whole Rocks order, Rock Speed FX order that's on the way is white. My CNA order that's on the way is white. So we are going to be kind of uh, Snow Trooper esque uh, this year. But nonetheless, we're going to get to stick in. I have the uh, time lapse set up to show you guys. Uh, I've gone over how to put stickers on before. Uh, right from Ackerman's uh, 139's mouth. Pretty much, especially on this kind of plastic, carbon choke cleaner it <clears throat> with a microfiber and then uh, just isopropyl alcohol. Afterwards, get the stick in. Heat is your friend. Uh, and don't be afraid to pull them back up and move them around. And you're gonna, probably gonna see that in the thing or in the time lapse. We're gonna start with the tank. It's kind of always where I start. I don't know why. Um, maybe because it is Southside's. Uh, location but uh i don't know i feel like that's just like a good center spot and then you just kind of go from there i really want to do the top of the, the tunnel tonight because that i think is going to look really good that was uh this one which is again my own logo but still um so yeah we're just going to get to get to groove in here
as you can see from this time lapse, I'm flying through this pretty good. I uh, have a good idea of how things go according to last year's wrap. And I did uh, a wrap that you haven't seen yet just recently. And uh, so I have a pretty good idea. The hardest piece is definitely this one. This one kicked my butt on my, uh, my storm copy sled last year, my VR1 boost last year. So I think it, I mean, it's still not perfect, but I did it better than I did last year. But uh, I am really, really liking how this is coming out. Um, once everything is done, I feel like it's just gonna be so, so, so good. So now you guys see why I did the white base. Um, I didn't want to have a black base because everywhere where the wrap doesn't cover would have been black. And then you see that through that and I didn't want that. So I wanted it white, even though it is a little bit different. Um, you still can't really see where the wrap ends and the white panel starts. So that's why I did the white base. So for anyone that was wondering, that's why. But uh, we're moving and grooving through here. Like I said, I'm just kind of slapping them on here. I'm getting pretty good at this. Uh, I might even start putting wraps on for people that want to. So if you are in the market for putting a wrap on, let me know. Maybe I'll tackle your project. But uh, we're just going to keep on uh, slapping some stuff on. Again, I really want to do the top of the tunnel. I don't know if I'll do the side of the tunnel. I might wait until I have an extra hand for that because that one is a pain in the butt because it's so big. Uh, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure all of this is all done. I definitely am going to get up here. This is our Woody's logo, so I want to get that on there. I want to get all the big names uh, sponsors on here tonight um, so I can at least get a really good idea of what it's going to look like. But what do you guys think so far? Because I'm kind of loving it. I'm going to put the seat on to see what that looks like. Cheers to one sheet down minus this one because I cannot figure out where that goes. But uh, made myself a bev for finishing one full sheet minus one sticker. But uh, we have all the console done. Uh, I think this whole side panel's done. Even the top is done. Down through here, we have the belly pan with our Team Woody's on there. And like I said, I'm 90% sure all this is done too, which I gotta go through there and see what's what. But uh, boy, I do like it. It's crazy, it's like all white. White, but different white. So I think I'm gonna tackle this uh, tunnel, side of the tunnel, because boy, I gotta see this finished. So we're gonna have a couple sips of our bevy. We're gonna just keep on chugging along. Seems as if I'm gonna get this whole side done tonight. Ooh, I think that goes there. I think that's what I was missing. So I'll throw that on there. Let's see. It's hard with one hand, but one of it. Oh yeah, that's definitely it. Boom, okay. Figured it out. See you guys. Okay, you guys. A few days later, we skipped uh, we skipped a lot, and uh, this is kind of the finished product. Uh, we got 99.9% .9 of things done. Um, little miscommunication between me and Chris. Again, like I said in the beginning, we're great friends, so like it's not very formal. I don't fill out like a form, so I must have never told him that I went to uh, a 146. So my tunnel pieces um, are a little short. Uh, not his fault. I'm gonna take full blame for that because I really don't think that I told him that. But <clears throat> I taped this one on just so you guys can see what it looked like. I wanted to see what it looked like. And I did actually install the uh, the top of the tunnel, even though they, again, were short. <laughs> but again, that's my, my bad. But anyway, it looks literally so, so, so killer. I'm uh, very, very pleased with how it turned out. Um, I kind of had an idea of what it was gonna look like, but once you get it on the sled and it done, and it just kind of changes, I'm sorry for the squeaky shoes, just changes a lot. It, uh, it's killer. I'm very happy with it. I don't know how about, I don't know what you guys think. Um, and since he had to print me new ones down there, I also had him uh, print me up some here. I just felt like that was unfinished, not being done. Um, I have some ones to go up on top, like the glove box-ish area. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put them on yet. I got to see kind of once I get the hand guards and other 
odds and end things on there. But another wrap from 139 Designs done and on and, uh, you know, could not be happier with the finished product. It really just, you know, we went with the matte again this year because it just, I don't know why, it just, it still looks kind of glossy. Well, I guess not, not in the video. In person, it looks a little shiny, but it's like that matte gloss. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But uh, this thing should look really, really, really good on snow. Uh, very pumped to see it on, uh, on nice white snow. And again, we have some more white add-ons coming here. Hand guards, skis, studs, studs, backers, not studs themselves. But what do you guys think? Put it down in the comments. I'm sure we'll have some people like it. Some people don't like it, but... Felt like it was different and and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So again, big shout out to 139 Designs Chris. Um, he's actually having a baby potentially in the next couple days. So uh, big shout out to him. And uh, again, if you guys need anything done, wrap wise, sled, dirt bike, trailer, he's your guy. But uh, that is gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy it. But uh, if you see this white monster out on the trail, make sure to say hi. But that's going to do it. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.